Let me just hit you with not, you know, gone with the win. Yeah, let gone with the win be gone with the win. Okay. Even when she got that, that uh, Oscar nomination, that Oscar award, they wrote the speech for her, the studio. You see this, like, she's crying, but there's this, they didn't even let her in the theater until right before she got that award, someone came outside and, 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 and brought her into the auditorium. She wasn't even allowed to sit in there. And then she had to read a speech that was written by the studio. You know that's not what the hell she wanted to say. And then after that, all she could do was play these same kinds of roles. They put her on a road, you know, a road uh, tour, a, a tour on the road playing the same character basically. But it was like she could either, you know, make seven fifty a week or make seven dollars a week. You know what I mean? What was she gonna do? So the opportunities at that time, and 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 the way that uh, those in power and in that business were relegating us and marginalizing us and not allowing us to grow and thrive after that, you know, um, was just terrible. This is like nothing I've ever seen in my life. And um, it's, 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 uh, it's also the fact that it's happening worldwide. Um, it's time, you know, it's time. What an what a opportunity we have right now. This is, you know, I can only liken it to what it was like for me as, as a, you know, teenager, young 20s, you know, 90s, early 90s, late 80s, you know, when, when um, there was apartheid in South Africa and, and we weren't with that, you know what I mean? And rappers, we, we stood up and used our voices and everybody used their voices. Yo, that song is stands. I wish it didn't stand, you know, I wish it would have played out, but you know, to have to say love a black, a black man from infinity to infinity, love a black woman from infinity to infinity, you know, but ultimately you and I, T.Y., like we do it together, you know, let's all get it together, you know, but I had to say things like that, you know what I mean? I still, we still have to say that, you know, um, I, I have so many records that I wish would, were not useful anymore, you know, records that for, 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 for women's equality, uh, for, for all of us to have an equal seat at the table. I wish we didn't have to talk about this stuff, but it's still happening. It's been happening since I was a youth. And so now we, you know, I'm just, I am, um, I am both ripped apart on the inside and at the same time inspired and um, have renewed vigor every day because um, we got a lot to do. It's an election year. I'm inspired by the youth being out there. I feel like they're using their power and their voices. This is the powder keg. This is the perfect storm, if you will, uh, for the opportunity for change to come. You know, so we shouldn't stop. We can't take our foot off the, the, the gas. I read this on, uh, on something Viola Davis posted and it was like a few different things and it, and it ended with don't take your foot off the gas. And I, that has sat in my mind and that has been my slogan in my brain every day. We can't take our foot off the gas. We can't take our foot off, because if we do, it won't change. 